Let's review how to calculate the volume of a cube. When we did area, we talked about area being equal to the length multiplied by the width. So the area of this one panel right here, if it was 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters, would be 10 times 10 so our area would be 100 centimeters squared. Now, to move this from area into volume, we're now adding a depth to it. So now our volume calculation is going to be the length of the cube multiplied by the width of the cube multiplied by the height or depth of the cube. So we see that we have three planes now. Our three measurements are going to be 1, 2, and then 3. So let's add a third measurement, and let's say that it's going to be 10 centimeters as well. So now our volume is going to be 10 times 10 times 10, 1,000 centimeters cubed. Where this is really useful for us is one centimeter cubed, or one cc, is equal to one milliliter. So knowing this and calculating in centimeters to make centimeters cubed can be an easy way to take a linear measurement and turn it into a volume measurement, and volume is often designated by milliliters or liters. So we can take a linear measure and calculate to create a volume number. Using the metric steps explanation then, we would be able to see that this 1,000 centimeters cubed is actually equal to 1,000 milliliters, which is equal to 1 liter.